Thank you. Now going over to the business blunder of the day, you have Delta forced to land a plane because of maggots in the overhead bin. And I'm not saying, I'm not using a pejorative term like someone is being a maggot. No, I mean the actual bug. Now, again, this comes to us thanks to NBC5 Chicago. They note that, quote, maggots rain down on Delta passengers from overhead bin, forcing the flight to return to Amsterdam, unquote. They note that flight attendants... Tr tracked the maggots to an overhead compartment where they found rotting fish wrapped in newspaper inside one of the bags. Which, oh. Who, again, we were talking about on the show earlier about mentally vacuous people. Who, who, thought it good, who thought to wrap fish in newspaper? I, do they not understand hygiene or basic biology of how food breaks down? Like, that's almost unfathomably stupid. Now, they note that, oh, I just I can't believe it. So it was going, oh, I guess we, uh, we shouldn't be too surprised. The flight was headed to Detroit from Amsterdam when the plane was forced to turn around after an hour, an hour after departing. And Pastor Philip Scott says, quote, um, told uh, WJBK TV in Detroit, during the flight, he looked across the aisle and saw freaking out as maggots fell on top of a woman. The woman's The woman, Scott said, was trying to kind of fight off the maggots, unquote, which I don't know how you do that. Now, of course, when they asked for comment, Delta said, quote, we apologize to the customers of Flight 137 on February 13th as their trip was interrupted due to the improperly packed carry-on bag, unquote. The aircraft returned to the gate and the customers were, geez Louise, the aircraft was, rem oh, the aircraft was removed from service for cleaning. I can't imagine that. So you had to, Rain down fan or have been forcing flight to return to Amsterdam, which again, I guess that's a long flight. You don't want to be on a flight for hours on end with maggots, but uh, again, uh, that's just seemingly unfathomably stupid. How do you bring on the fish? So I don't know how Delta is running as a company. Granted, in terms of the historical uses of Delta Airlines and in terms of their public relations, I suppose this isn't as bad as beating the crap out of a doctor, which they did a couple years ago when a man refused to give up his seat that he paid for, which they did beat the crap out of him, as I was going to say, as the youth might say. Not a very sophisticated way of saying that they assaulted a passenger. So that was pretty bad PR. This is not worse, but again, not good uh, business practices to allow that type of thing on the plane. And then, yeah, now you hit all these hundreds, again, it's quite a few people who fly on the plane. It's not just 12 people. It's not a private plane. These commercial, commercial airlines have hundreds of passengers. You ruined all their trip and, shoot, ruined their day. Now, they, if they do the right thing, they have to pay for vouchers in terms of they need to stay for a hotel or transportation to get to a hotel. So needless to say, having maggots on the plane, that is certainly the business blunder of the day. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in again. We're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of February, so if you click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, sharing the video is a great way to assist me growing the audience and giving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or just leaving a comment gives me some additional feedback on how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.